this guy, this guy. Two steps forward, one step back. We're gonna be back out here today. Ladies and gents, change your location. We're still on Sydney Harbour, Sydney Harbour, Parramatta River to be exact. Let's get down these flight of stairs, gonna hit the wall first. It's getting harder and harder to figure out what to do, to where to throw these lures. So I brought two rods just in case. So at least we can have some fun here if those eco gears don't work. What do you know, it doesn't look too bad. Wind doesn't look too strong. Wow, look at that. Wind knots from yesterday. Well, a loose loop, got to fix that in a second. But I'm going to try this one first, put on a hard body. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's see if we can make this video happen. So let's get the eco gear brim prawn back out. So first dibs on the eco gear. Because if it doesn't work, we can try other techniques. But I really want to get some more fish on this one. Look at that, all that juice on my fingers. That ain't cool. So I've got two bags. Shove that back in. Let's thread this one through. Ah, uh, which way are we doing it? Yeah, this way. Head up. There we go. All right, we'll go. We're ready. Let's cast. Let's get it going. Way too deep. I think we'll just cast against the bank instead. Probably a better idea on the weightless. Ooh, well, just had a brim just chase it all the way in. I just gave up on that cast and it just came flying in. My gosh. I should have just stopped it short. It would have whacked it. All right, looks, looks like a fairy is coming. The wash is going to start happening. We got a weightless rig on. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Look at that. Something was in the water there. Just popping up while the ferry pulls in now. Uh, looks like the ferry has gone again. Big waves coming in. Inbound. All right, this lure, we're going to shelve it, put it on ice. Let's get the other rod out. I'm going to take this opportunity to rig this second rod up. Looks like that prawn, no good right now. Hey, we're not going to bang our heads against the wall here. Just going to use what I think is going to work. Let's try fish vertically with some heavy hard bodies. Now let's see what we've got here. Crack that open. This guy. This guy. So crab versus muscle. We'll give the muscle a go. I think I've done crab recently. Alright, muscle it is. There, I've got it out. Gotta make sure I get a picture of this before I lose it. Alright, clip that back in. And look at that. Wow wee! Let's throw this. I've just cast and I'm just dropping it down right there against that leg. Two legs. This big one here, let's see. Have a go at that. I'm on the bottom. And I'm onto us. Oh my god. Straight away, man. Oh, I got it out. Whew. See, this is why... Look, for the average fisherman, you gotta be very careful when you're using expensive lures like this. My heart just sank. Because that's nearly 30 bucks in the very first cast. So you got to know what you're doing and you got to be willing to lose it but obviously you don't want to lose too many with a ferry coming up here that would have been bad i would have felt terrible people see me snag that it's getting loud because that ferry is churning up everything on the way out i'm just trying to make the most of this wash here just having a cast on that one normally i don't cast them all right what about this side here let's drop it down I'm basically just moving my way around the wharf, trying all sorts of vertical structure. More sinkage. Sink, 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 sink. That's one thing good about fairy wharves. You're always going to get that depth right at your feet. All right, this side too. Going to give it the treatment. Like the exterminator. Just going around, trying to figure out where they are and flush them out would be very very nice oh that was a hit that one was a hit it just grabbed it and i felt one kick now right, here we go stepping up to the plate here that's the lure let's cast in right over here oh a bit too far let's wind in that's it. It's a good drop right there. Let it hit the bottom. It's a bottom fishing bait, this one. It's 
see once that line stops moving down you know it's on the bottom that's it I'm just working the bottom it's my favorite way to work these lures oh don't know if that was a bite or a snag yep onto a fish look at that I got good drag on it's not gonna pull anything off my Stella Let's ease it up a bit. It's up near the top now, and it looks like a good fish. Look at that. It's just coming up now. Wow, that's a donkey. That's a donkey, guys. <laughs> Ladies and gents, that's a donkey of a brim. <laughs> Let's bring him in. Wow, I didn't realize how short my leader was. Let's bring him in. Three, two, one. Bye. That is a donkey of a brim. I was not expecting that. Um... There goes this video about eco gears, huh? <laughs> there we go, unexpected, nice one. I'll probably get a quick measure of him before I throw him back. Yeah, look at that, the muscle. Heavy one. This one was a tape 38. All right, there we go, we've got the pliers. Let's get that pop. Boop. And there we go, and that's it. Muscle, muscle. This one actually looks kind of green. It's like a black one with a bit of green. He picked it up right off there. I'm gonna throw him out, probably behind us. All right, let's do it again. Let's clean up my mess. All right, it's time for me to head off this wharf. So that just happened. Nice brim on the muscle, but we're gonna keep moving around. It's really hard to catch fish in the winter sometimes. You gotta move around. Just gonna put my stuff again on the grass here. I like this side, it's not bad. A bit more room. The structure obviously is a lot less than the wharf. Wharf is always a nice place. Okay, so let's see what we can do here with the Eco Gear Brim Prawn once again. And great, right on top of the thing, but we just dragged it back into the water. <sighs> Fingers crossed, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's get it happening. Let's get the party started. All right, it's time to say goodbye to the Eco Gear Brim Prawn. I'm gonna try a Squidgy's Biotuff Wriggler now, 100 millimeter in the bloodworm color. I need something with action, and I just don't really want to put lead on. I mean, I need, not, not with action, it does have action. The way it sinks is it's action and the way it glides. But I want something that's gonna work better with a bit of lead so I can work the bottom. I feel like they're just nowhere near the top and it's taken way too long to wait for it to sink. So we're gonna put a 1 16th ounce on to that guy. Smash that like button if you do the same. There we go. Get that bad boy out. All right, there we go, putting it in there. This is gonna show the brim who's boss. Oh yeah. Let's walk up to this and just have a cast against the side here. Step back. Pretty sure I hit the bottom there. And we are on. Oh, look at the bend in this rod. Look at the bend in this rod. I think we got him out. He's come out by himself. Look at the bend in this rod. It's not really something. Usually big brim do this, in my opinion. All right, let's just loosen the drag just a bit. I think he's just out here in the open now I'm not so worried Wow he wants that current we can just guide him in here Wow he's coming in here I'm gonna feel some tail kicks, it could be a big trevally. No, it's not. Oh, I dropped him. I think it's big. Whatever he is, I just dropped him. What? What was that? I couldn't quite make it out what it was. Ah. Oh, we just pulled the hook there. Pulled the hook, pulled the hook on him. It wasn't a trevally, it was kind of long. It was either a big tailor or it was one of those Taylor, Salmon, Mulloway. They're the three. 
Oh my god! No chafing on the leader. Oh, spewing. Spewing. That not paid off, but I pulled way too hard and I pulled the hook on that. Alright, so not content with what just happened there, losing that nice fish, which I didn't even know what that was, which is a big problem. I'm going to continue it. I've got the muscle on. We've got plenty of things we could do. It's still raining, but I'm going to fish through the rain if it comes. i got my rain jacket anyway, so I'm going to, I want to end my session on a good note here. Wind, it's around. You know, it never goes away, right? It never seems to go away. Hopefully the fish don't go away either. I'm going to throw this around here. Hopefully I don't snag up. 14 pound, like I said, we're fishing strong, strong leader. No plan really. I'll throw this muscle first. If I think something else is going to work better, we'll do that too. So I've juiced this guy up. Right there, you can see that thick layer of some S-Factor. This might give me a chance to just let this lure... Maybe just not fall down so quickly. We had a 1 8 on, right? If they're finicky, light, light, light. I think we had a fish there. I don't think that that was just a current pushing me against rocks. I think we had a fish there. Let's try again. That was just on the first loosener, you know? As I say in cricket, when you just toss out a do your first ball just to get, get the things going, get the gears going. For that loosener there, I'm pretty sure I had a hit. Let's find out if they'll come back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not feeling anything now. That was definitely a hit. That was definitely a fish. Oh, there you go. Some fish right under there. Passing under there is hard. Yeah, there's fish there, dude. The question is, how do you get it there? There you go, that's a good one. All right, here we go. We could get smacked right underneath the pipe. I saw a couple of fish. Oh, we're on the bottom. That was quick, so it's not deep. Yep, we got one. Saw a fish, like I said. Pumping me hard, man. Woohoo! Don't get me against the edge, buddy. Oh, good runs, man. Let's bring him out. How fun is this? <laughs> there he is, not a bad one. Not a bad Brembo. Three, two, one. Ah. Just kneeling on this wet grass. Jeez, my knee's all wet already. That was a big mistake. That's a one. That's a pretty good chunk. Just cracked once. There you go. Crack. Oh, gets me going. Oh, yeah. Reverse throw. Reverse throw right over you. See you later, mate. That was an eventful one. Gosh, what was that fish back there? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like. And if you want to see the eco gears put through their paces, watch this next video. With a little less plastic.